Hey, Windows servers can't be enrolled into Intune. We all know that. But Intune is a really neat way of deploying Defender for Endpoint configurations such as attack service reduction and stuff. Luckily, we can simply manage Windows servers via Intune via Defender for Endpoint using a really clever technique called security management with Defender for Endpoint. With this capability, devices that aren't managed by an Intune service can receive security configurations via the Defender for Endpoint service directly via Intune. This has been possible for over a year and I did a video on it around about the time it came out, but it was only possible to manage devices that were hybrid or Azure AD joined, meaning some devices like kiosks and even domain controllers weren't possible to manage. This week, Microsoft announced that they've updated the enrollment requirements for, uh, for this feature, and Azure AD join is no longer required. They've done some magic in the background so that Defender for Endpoint itself is joining Azure AD in some kind of stealthy way, which means the device itself doesn't need to join. I don't really know. It's in preview at the moment, but let's jump in and take a look. So from the Intune portal, we don't need to do anything at all right now. We need to go to the security portal. And from here, we're going to jump down and go to settings and endpoints. And we need to enable this feature. In the advanced feature sets section, we can scroll down to preview features. And we're going to enable preview features and choose save. Okay, that's done. Next, we need to choose enforcement scope in configuration management. And actually in this tenant, I haven't enabled MDE security management for Intune. So I'm going to choose on. And then you see we get to choose which platforms we're going to manage. In this case, I'm going to go with Windows client devices and Windows servers. And because I don't want to mess around with this, this MD management tag right now, it's pretty late. I'm going to go with all devices and all devices. And you also have the option to manage devices that are onboarded to Defender for Cloud, which I'm not doing right now. And also devices that are uh, using Config Manager. I'm not doing that right now either. Let's keep this relatively simple for this first test. Let's choose save, give that a few moments, and it will be done. So now we need to figure out how we onboard these devices. And well, firstly, let's take a look at the devices that I've got. So in my portal, I'm gonna to go to devices. You can see I've got some VMs. I've got VMs one, two, and three. Let's call them, because that's pretty much what I decided to call them when I made them up. We haven't got any more, just got three, nice and simple. I want to onboard some more devices. So back into settings, endpoints, and scroll down to onboarding. And this is a Windows Server 2019 that I'm gonna be working with. And so I'm gonna go with local script because I haven't got them managed by a domain and I haven't got them in config manager and I'm not using VDI. So we'll go ahead and choose local script I'm going to download this onboarding package. Okay, here it is. So here I'm just going to double click on it and it extracts to, well, it's just this command file. So let me just open that up. Make this window a bit smaller to fit on the screen. And okay, look at that. There's the script. All I need to do is get that over to my device. Let's do that. Copy. And the device itself is hiding behind here. As you can see on this device, we have no configuration around uh, the, the Windows security at all. It's just a device that's in a work group, firewalls on and stuff, but you know, I've not really configured anything. Paste this script in, and I'm going to run this as administrator, but let's just go into PowerShell for a second first. So we can actually see it. Cool. And just press enter. And it says it's going to be onboarding my devices to Defender for Endpoint and it should light up in the portal within five to 30 minutes. Yes to confirm. Let's do it. Okay. Successfully onboarded the device to Defender for Endpoint. That was pretty simple. Any key to continue. All done. 
I'm going to head over to the portal again, over to this tree on the left hand side and we will choose devices again. It's got three devices, not great so far. Give it a few seconds to refresh perhaps. It said five to 30 minutes. It's been less than a minute, so that's fine. In the meantime, let's create some configuration in Intune to see what happens. Go into Intune and let's just see the devices we've got in Intune first, actually. I'll take a look at these. In here, I've got a few more. Apparently no ability to move this column for you. Okay, well, zero, one, two, three. So not six, which is the server that I was trying to onboard, which is good, that makes sense. I'm gonna go with endpoint security and create an antivirus profile and just that one there, Windows Server, B antivirus, choose create. We'll choose next. And let's just configure some of this stuff. Okay, just pick some random stuff. And I'm not going to deploy it yet because I haven't got a group that I'm going to deploy it to just yet. Let's create that group. And back into AV, grab this test profile, add the assignments to last coffee. Okay. So now all I need to do is put that server into that group where it appears in Azure AD. See if it's appeared in Defender for Endpoint yet. It has, there it is. So let's take a look at what we can see about this device right now. We've got the name, it's in a work group. It hasn't really got anything other than the OS platform and the version, which is server 2019. Um, okay, all good. Let's go into it a bit deeper. We have some more information about it. It's onboarded to Defender for Endpoint, which is great news. It says it's not on enrolled into MDE settings management, verify it complies with the prerequisites. Now there's one thing in Intune that I haven't yet done, which I think might be the problem here. I'm gonna go back into Intune and go to tenant administration, connectors and tokens. I'm just gonna scroll down to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. You can see I've got the connector enabled, but I didn't enable this feature down here, which is allow Defender for Endpoint to enforce security configurations. So I'm going to choose on for that, because that might be important. It sounds pretty important to me. So I'm going to choose save. Okay, I've actually given these devices a little bit longer to do their thing. I've been away from the office for a few days, and I've come back, and here's what we get. So if we take a look at the devices in the Intune portal, you can see that we've now got devices 6 and 7. I onboarded an extra one while I was away, so number 7 is already there. And it's managed by MDE. It's not... Um, picked up any of the compliance information or the or the ownership information but you can see it's got the version here and if you notice it, it's managed by MD not Intune and yet if we go to the uh, the Azure AD portal and take a look at it there it says it's Azure AD joined and managed by Intune which isn't obviously exactly right but a little bit of confusion between the two portals there go into devices in the uh, security portal and you can see some a bit more information about the device it's domain joined to Azure AD apparently and if we scroll down, it's onboarded, and the enrollment status is successful for MDE, and it's managed by MDE. So very confusing to see which which is the, 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 the truth here. I think the Intune portal probably has the closest information we need, the most information we need, combined with the security portal. Anyway, so I also, I also created that group and the firewall policy that we saw. So I've just put the devices in now to that group. We'll take a look at the, the group and see if they're in. This group now, yes, so devices six and seven are in that group. I'm gonna head over to the server itself. So just looking at this device, you can see that it's not Azure AD joined, it's managed by a work group, but the MDE agent itself is the thing that is, is Azure AD joined, which is why it's able to do this communication to Azure AD. I'm just gonna go into the um, antivirus status here, and you can see that Already this setting is set as managed by your administrator, 
which means I can't turn it off. And that is set by the policy within Defender for Endpoint. So if I go over here, you can see that we have this policy here, Last Coffee Test AV policy. And this is the policy that's enabling the antivirus on my device. You can see the target here is MDM and Microsoft Sense. Microsoft Sense refers to this Sense agent or the Sense, uh, which Defender for Endpoint used to be called Sense. So that's why that's targeting here. And already you can see it's taken effect on this device. So as you can see, within just a few minutes, it's already applied this policy. And we now have antivirus configuration configured via Defender for Endpoint via Intune. This really does change the game for organizations that don't have Config Manager and have servers that are Azure AD joined or even not Azure AD joined. Now we can manage the security configuration for all of our server devices directly via the Intune portal with MDE. See you next time.